Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some more good old Yoshi stuff. Uh, this is the finale, I'm pretty sure. If it's not, then don't I look foolish. So let me see, which one of these levels would be good? I'm gonna go with... One. I may as well, I've been doing one every single one, I'm pretty sure. Now, who would be good for the water? Light blue, obviously. Okay, <laughs> that's where the warp block was? Okay. The Miss Warp was there all along? Oh shit. I can swim. Man, I love this song. I really do love this game, if you haven't realized from watching all these videos. I think this game's great. It's a shame that I think it, not a lot of people like it for whatever reason. I'm gonna assume it's because of all the people who like Yoshi's Island, but I've always kind of preferred this game because it kind of ditches the pa the Baby Mario mechanic. No, it's a very different kind of game. This kind of has a more of a... Oh shit, I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. It has a little bit of more of an exploration and having a it's, a it's a different game it's a different game i think it's it's two different games that kind of feature yoshi that i think are both um valid in what they are <laughs> yoshi's really putting his legs right up on there borderline a contortionist dun, 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 dun. ah damn let me see, what's down there? Ooh, grape? Please don't come after me. Why are you like this? Leave, 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 leave. Oh my god. Go, oh, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart, get the heart. <gasps> the heart's on the other side. Is this thing really gonna keep following me? Oh, okay, I was about to fucking say, leave me alone. <gasps> Shit, I might not make it. I made it. Because I am skilled. Yeah, right, let's see, which way we kind of want to go? I think I want to go this way. I don't want to go this way anymore. This is a bunch of fucking jellyfish everywhere. Ooh. I'm invincible, but it doesn't matter because I'm underwater. I think this is the first time I've ever heard the invincibility theme from underwater. It's not something I typically hear. I'm very bad at this level, I think. Ooh. Bastards. Could've gotten so much points. Now I'm getting no points. Sad times. I had to eat inside these jellyfish, which is disturbing. Oh god, I'm going to die. But I'm not smart. Shit. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm not risking it. You gotta be shitting me that all of them have them. Oh, come on! There's some bananas. Eat that banana. Alright. We're in a better place now. I'm using the, point, the coins as markers to remind myself where I have and have not been. I'm leaving. I don't want to deal with this jellyfish. Fuck you for jellyfish, I can find fruit everywhere. Can I eat this? I can. What in the name of fuck is this thing? Pretty sure it's a boss, but I don't remember- Oh, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Eat, eat the grape. Oh my god. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't remember that guy. <laughs> How many do I have? Almost enough to finish the level. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
<laughs> it was fucking terrifying is what it was. Five more. I can't believe I can't use any of these damn... I can't actually believe it. Is this, I think, the first level where I haven't found more than one Miss Warp? Oh god. Three. Just two more. There's one. smart. Just one more and I can leave. There we go. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. This might actually be my lowest one. I don't think I did very good at all. I Okay, never mind then. Fuck what I have to say. I was sure because of the low enemy count, it would be one of the lowest, not one of the higher ones. <laughs> to go any farther, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They liked to the swim, but the jellyfish sting spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Hey, here it is, the final level basically. We'll go to Mecha Castle. Oh, there's three. Keeping up with the theme of one. Who's going to be the bravest one here to confront Baby Bowser? It is obviously Pink Yoshi. Let's go. I have all my Yoshis, so really I hope it stays that way till the end. Look at this thrust. <laughs> Followed by the weirdest sound ever. Again, as a kid, it took me forever to figure out that this was what I was supposed to do. I was not the brightest kid in the world. It's not that I was bright, it's just I didn't read. So I didn't read any of the Marshmallow Guys, like, hints and stuff. <laughs> Shit. Gotta be smarter about that. I gotta be careful, this level is actually very tricky and could easily kill my Yoshi, and I'm going on a pretty nice, um, all Yoshi's run here. Oh god. Yep. Run, 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 run! Oh shit. Oh, I wanted that apple. And I paid the price for said apple. Shit, 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 Be smart, be smart. <laughs> what part of be smart did you not fucking understand, Wookie? God damn it, I gotta really be 
be smart about that. I was about to say, if I was about to get castlevania off that ledge, I was going to be so pissed. Because I tried to avoid it with all my might. It just wasn't avoidable. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> oh god, please. Be an odd bit of 3D there. Sure. No. I'm pretty sure that is an insta kill if I'm not careful. So that's why I was like freaking out. died. Two more. Okay. Okay, let's go. Only one thing left to do now, and that's fight Baby Bowser. Here, Mario's little pet. I have a play too. It's let's all play together. Play nice, you wimply pet. I hate the <laughs> guests who throw bomb bombs at my ceiling. So don't do it, I guess. So I have to throw. I'm pretty sure he just died. Here's my poem, I'm the king, you dino guy, I'll smash you now and you say goodbye. Oh shit. Well, I'm invincible for a bit. I forgot that invincibility meant I can't use my... I got him up there. Somehow. I think I won. <laughs> he is a baby after all. Yeah, this hurts. I hate you, you beauty little Yoshis. I'll give you back your super stupid tree beside this fruit is rotten to me. Bye bye, you bad baby Bowser.
And believe it or not, that's actually the cutscene. When you lose a Yoshi, the opposite happens where a Yoshi is taken to the castle. I'm sure that my score here is Garbo. Yeah, it's Garbo. <laughs> Still better than, I think, level 2, though. <laughs> what was I doing on page 2? That was so garbage. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I think it's pretty obvious here. You do the proper. That, everyone, was Yoshi's story. A delightful little game. I love it a lot. <sighs> and something for you to enjoy while I'm busy working. And so the adventure began. The Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far, so good. If they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. As they continued to look for happiness, the Yoshis got lost in a dark cave. Inside lived Bone Dragon, and the Yoshis stayed. They'd surely be eaten. They escaped, of course. No Yoshi wants to become lunch for a dragon. The Yoshi saw a small tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. After a tough climb, the Yoshis found Inviso waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghost and saw the castle far away. The Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but they in they went. Gaban was the owner of the house, and he didn't like uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshis, and they were sorry for ever barging in. To go any further, the Yoshis had to brave the ocean. They jumped in. They'd like to swim, but the jellyfish thing spoiled their fun. So they swam to dry land. Now they were almost to the end of the book. The Yoshis finally got to the castle in the final page of the storybook. Behind all the noisy machines, Baby Bowser guarded the tree. Bowser was a tough baby, but the bad guys finished last. The Yoshis won. All's well that ends well. The Yoshis had broken Bowser's spell. The super happy tree was back. They jumped for joy with their fruity snack. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Happy ending, everyone.